What did you discover about YNT that you <clears throat> didn't know before you joined them? Like when you joined them, like what did you learn about this band that you didn't know as an outside fan? Wow, quite a few things. I'd say first off right out of the gates, just in my audition playing together, just how good they are. They're mm. a really, really good band, really good bunch of musicians and, and you know how it is when you start playing with other people and how you interact and how it grooves and you know just just incredible and then what a great singer Dave Minichetti is the guy is incredible night after night after night he's always spot on and and sounds better than he did when he was uh, 18 years old and, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah and what a bunch of nice guys they are and mm -hmm. how fun it is to be in a band like that because I've been in a lot of those bands a lot of my friends are in those bands where you hear the horror stories they meet on stage and they go their own way every night and yeah and uh, yeah we're we all hang together and after a good uh, 10 12 hour drive sometimes we pull up to the hotel and it's like all right where you guys want to go for dinner now you know we all <laughs> hang together so it's, that's really cool and then one thing I'm always curious about with with uh, guys who join an existing band um, is how do you honor what came before mm -hmm. in terms of the drummers who who sat in that throne before yeah but also make space to express yourself and yeah. you know show off what you have to offer right well good question first thing i do is i uh learn everything the way it was done originally as in whether i have to chart something out or just learn it really well so i can sound like the record first and foremost and then as you get to know them they'll let you know where you have freedom to play other parts we stretch out a lot of things but you know as a kid coming up any band I was into, you go to a concert, you want to hear the stuff played the way we knew it. So those are the key parts, the sound you want it to be. And uh, especially today, most of the older bands are recreating their their songs the way they were. So we're really aware of that, but we have a lot of places where we stretch out and I can't help but sound like myself. So it's not gonna be quite the same, but I try and honor what, what Leonard did mostly. And then Jimmy DeGrasso is in the band and Steve Smith on a couple of the songs. and things like that but yeah just by really listening and educating myself on the stuff to mm -hmm. to get up on it but yeah and how, how long did it take before you started <clears throat> uh, um, you know adding a little bit more of your own flavor into things yeah um, well pretty much right away because they were they were saying that they wanted some of that but they wanted to honor the old sound and or you know the sound of the band I would say the old sound you know it's kind of like Charlie Watts and the Stones, you know, yeah. Leonard made that sound. So I got to cop that feel. So the, the first thing I did was like, okay, who's Leonard into? Ian Pace, John Bonham, you know, and all that. Mm -hmm. So I'd, you know, go back and do my homework again, even though I was into those guys, you know, extensively. I would go back and do my homework and, and really brush up on that. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's mostly when we were playing live, beginnings, endings, and, and I get a lot of freedom into stretching out sections and endings. and. And that became that. And actually, Phil, our you know the original bass player when he was alive, he would tell me, you know, actually when I wrote the song, I had this idea and I wanted this. So we were already changing stuff as we went that wasn't like the record, anyways. Right when I got okay. in the band. So, yeah, it's it's uh, yeah, it, it's hard to remember that was so long ago. <laughs> now. Yeah, but uh, it just kind of evolves, you know.